And they're back with us today, not only because Denise is interested in photography, but also because they, they used me as a model for one of the holograms, and they're going to show us today. Here from the Laser Light Concepts in New York are Abe Resney and Steve Cohen. Welcome them, please. You want to show us a hologram? Sure. Um, I guess if we, we have one up. house lights, we have one that we just made recently. That's you, Abe. It's me. It's called Portrait of a Smearing Carpenter. <laughs> I'm convinced it's all magic. It's not real at all. Put your hand. Okay. You can see. Put my hand on in here. It's just an image. It's actually oh, just floating so in space. This one takes 45 seconds for the entire action. It's a 360-degree hologram. And the movements are, are very subtle, aren't they? Nothing. Right. All the movements, as you remember, kind have of an instant, instant replay time. Very slowly. Um, well, also, in this one, used an effect that's called time smearing. And by myself moving a little faster than normal, we get these wave actions. That's um, a coat. A part of holography that's starting to be used creatively. It's um, similar to a blur that's used in photography. So you get, you get these sort of wavy actions that we did on purpose. Is this expensive? How much would one of these cost? Well, as a as an art piece, as a limited edition, would sell, let's say, for six hundred dollars. Um, and that's with the display and can be just put in the living room, looked at, used as a lamp. Does the audience realize it, that if you walked, this is actually turning, and if you walked around this, you'd see the whole 360 right. degrees right. of the right. action, right. that you're not just seeing one little piece. I mean, you see his whole body. Right. You can walk around it. You can actually uh, turn the cylinder backwards and forwards as well, and uh, the image will still be there. Okay, now you have to tell us how it's done. <laughs> well, I think we'll get to that one. You're going to show us another one? Yeah. We have one over here that I recently did. I think it's, the one, of my, it's one of my aunt and uncle. It was a straight portrait. Um, and there's the camera. This is a, a plate hologram. And as, as you walk around it, they appear to be turning their heads and moving. There we go. You might wonder what the the, uh, the rainbow type of, of lights are, and essentially that's the trade-off that uh, to view this hologram we're using a 69 cent ordinary 100 watt bulb. They're made with lasers, but in viewing uh, you only need a clear light bulb. Uh, this next one is an aerial hologram. I think uh, you'll recognize the sub subject. It was shot from a helicopter, which accounts for some of the bouncy movement that we see. It was a windy day. But it is um, what we think is the first aerial hologram ever shot. Basically, we think that we made the Washington Monument dance a little. <laughs> it's pretty that way, we think. Yeah. A few months ago, I modeled for a hologram, and let's show the audience how we how we did it, OK? Sure. Want to show it over here? I simply got on the stool with a hand microphone. I can't remember the song. I, I just kind of improvised, didn't I? I was singing a lot of tunes. But it sat on the stool, okay. and it uh, goes turns slowly around, and I just pretend I'm singing, and when I make a gesture, it's that tempo, that speed. It has to be very slow. At the, the movements have to be very subtle, and the head turns. And Now what we're doing is we're simulating the filming of the hologram. So we have a movie camera here, and there's no laser involved. And we're just shooting a 16-millimeter movie of Mike. We have the film processed and we take it back and then we have it transferred into a hologram. So it, this leaves us almost anything that could be filmed can now be made into a hologram. Okay, can we see it? We just happen to have it. Just here. happen to have it here. <laughs> Coincidentally. What a coincidence. Okay. Here we have Mike Douglas floating in space and three-dimensional. Anyone you recognize her? 
Looks like somebody I once knew. And then we added a little optical effect in case you forget who it is. <laughs> That's wonderful. See how tall and thin you look? <laughs> Denise, you're coming back very often. <laughs> and this is just a simple display that Mike can now hang this anywhere he pleases. I'm going to wear it. Uh, give me another one and I'll wear them for cufflinks. <laughs> Are there galleries and shops where people can see these? There are, Not this one in well, particular. Well, but this so. one can be seen in our gallery in New York City Laser Light Concepts. And then on the West Coast, you could see them at a company called Multiplex that's responsible for a lot of innovations in holography. And when you go to Multiplex, ask for Rufus, and he'll show you around. <laughs> okay, Rufus. Thank you, thank you, Raven, Steve, very much. Is very all much. of this self-contained? Yes, yeah, I just believe it.